Hello friends and welcome back uh, to the needy nerds prison where our needy nerds aren't needy, it's the needy staff that are the problem. I need to give them pay rises all the time, but I don't want to leave them there, uh, so I keep rolling them back down to zero so that I can keep some money up my sleeve. I'm trying to, trying to address their needs, right? And it's kind of getting there. They are like eating a little bit better, they are using the bathroom a little bit better. Their environment, it's, I mean that's okay. This is, this is, okay, this is getting better now. I think it might have just been the requirement for an additional table out here. And then to have this, uh, this kitchen here to do the washing up is, uh, is definitely, definitely a good thing. And it's not quite keeping up with the amount of plates that are here. So I may need a bigger kitchen. My word. Really? Is that, is that the thing that I need to do? Let's try it. Um, let's have another two sinks in here. Because there just seemed to be a constant flow of sink of of um, dirty trays uh, that are gumming up this area and causing it to be just just an absolute debacle. So we'll put two more in there, prioritize those, and then we'll dismantle this one once this guy's finished washing. I don't want to interrupt his work. I don't want him to be halfway through scrubbing out a particularly sticky piece of um, of mashed potato. And then all of a sudden, someone comes in and rips the uh, the sink out from underneath him. I mean, that'd be... It's just rude. It's just rude. Okay. A little bit more pipe to hook up the top two. And there we go. We now have four sinks to deal with the staff dishes. And hopefully, we can start to get on top of uh, all of the dirty dishes that these guys are currently dealing with. Good. Uh, and hopefully, we get another couple of... Um, uh, another couple of cooks in there to to do that, but look, it's already uh, it's already had an effect. We've already started to see all of these plates disappear and uh, start to be taken care of. I can hear that we've tripped some power somewhere. Where did that happen? Up here? Yes. So did I trip this? No. What have I done? Utilities. Okay. It's not that one. It is this section up here that's just tripped out, right? And it's... Oh, dearie mate. Oh, it is this guy. Okay, so by connecting that... No, it's not. I just tripped. A power station somewhere. But I can't see one that's offline. The only one that I can see offline, well, the only area that I can see offline is this. I'm sure I heard a power station just go. Maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining things. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What I'm going to do is just trim this out. I'll leave the lights running on that main grid just to, just to buy myself some insurance here. Um, and I'll run a power line down here and connect it up to this power station here. So theoretically, this power station is just to supply this pumping station and the boilers for the uh, the new mega cell block. I think that's probably going to be good. I think that'll be that'll be nice. And then we can get into here and go like this uh, with some power that connects back to that main grid. Just back to there. And one across here like this. Groovy. Uh, the hot water pipes and cold water pipes in this area need to all be done as well. We've got the first block set up. But these ones along here, hello, that big pipe doesn't make it all the way. All right, so we're going to need to connect these across like this as well. Oh my word, this is going to be, this is going to be crazy. I suppose though, that's what happens when you make a cell block this large. Um, you know, that's kind of to be expected. All right, so now all we got to do is hope that what I've just put in is enough pressure from both sides, it's not going to be, is it? Even if these bits get hooked up here, it's not going to be enough to get all the way down to the center of these cell blocks, which means I need to feed large pipes through this whole building. Oh, I don't want to have to do that, game. That's a dangerous thing to do. You shouldn't make me do that. But I'm going to have to because I've made a cell block that's 25 cells long. And, uh, yep, there it is. It does not make it all the way. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is this is bad. That's real bad. Alright, what about hot water? It's not even hooked up yet. Why is that not hooked up? 
did I, oh, is it because of the power connected to that one? Yeah, okay, cool. So that still needs to be hooked up to this power station down here. We've had a death. The staff are gonna, yep, oh, man. Okay, cool, the staff have gone on strike. Look, I tell you what, guys. Obviously, even with the amount of breaks that I'm giving you, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Let me check out my staff. How are you guys doing? Tired, dead, patrolling, on break, tired. See, I don't see any critical problems around being tired in there. If I look in their needs, I can see that there's some food requirements, but you know, you should be able to go and get that, guys. There's plenty of food to be had. I mean, look at this lovely staff room here. It should totally take care of your needs. But it doesn't seem to be the case. That's okay. It's okay. It's just going to be a matter of time um, and balancing to keep these guys looked after, I think. Right. Um, so, policy, I don't want to leave that all the way up. I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll take it down to 9%. We'll try, we'll try just leaving it nearby. Ah, oh, these bloody things. All right. We'll try just leaving it nearby. I'm going to remove these rooms that are out here now. The uh, the big delivery, you know, temporary delivery zones that we made. They can be removed now. I don't want them to be there. I want deliveries to actually be inside uh, where they're supposed to be. Um, and that should hopefully, you know, take care of itself. These fires that are out here can be dismantled. They can go... Are there any down here? No. Okay, good. So that was just that section there. Um, and good. We can uh, we can go back to what we were doing, which is plumbing this section in as best as we possibly can. Uh, so this needs to go to there. And then for this central area, well, I guess the only way that I'm going to get around this is by running the large pipes down into the center of these blocks just a wee bit. And maybe it's going to be enough to come down to here and then we can connect up like this down the center. Yeah, that'll be fine. I reckon that'll help us out. All right, so we don't have too many large pipes running about. We just have, you know, one here and there. Okay, hot water's a problem though. We're only getting, it does have better pressure than the small pipes, which is nice, but it's not making it all the way down. So, what we could consider doing is linking out to here, right, to get these guys connected up to this circuit, and then we're just going to need to bolster our heaters here and there to try and add some more. We, na we may need, nay need, we may need to, uh, to pop in a couple of, um, um, a couple of boilers inside, which is not the greatest, all told. I'm not super thrilled about that, um, but it may just be something that we need to consider doing. Um, three deaths. Yep. In here again. It's just starting to become really problematic. All right. And we'll replace those guards that we just lost. And have we lost an arm guard as well? Yeah, we've lost four of them. Gordon Bennett. Okay. I'm going to need to figure out what to do with these... these uh, um, maximum security dudes. How are they actually doing? Um, let's check out their needs for maximum security. Pretty high. Pretty high for sleep, but that's okay. They're all in bed now. Clothing is pretty bad, actually. I'm surprised. There are a few clothes in there. Um, but not really that many. Is the laundry not keeping up with how many people we've got? It's a, it's a fair possibility. It is a fair possibility. Do we still have any jobs in there? Yes. 30 of. I think the laundry is just getting overloaded. And I could... I'll have to double check on the spreadsheet uh, to see what's actually required. But I'm pretty sure that we just flat out don't have enough, uh, enough laundry capacity. Okay, good. This is kind of starting to look okay now. This is... Mm, this is starting to look not too bad. What we could do is pop a boiler right here. It's going to be like in the hallway, which isn't great. Um, but if I pop that like there, 
it'll provide some heat into this area, which is no bad thing. And then we maximize that. Then if I look at it here, right, so it's going to be connected to a large and a hot pipe, as well as power on this uh, this sort of cyan greeny colored circuit. And then that, beautiful, oh, we've, we've got two. Two that aren't supplied. That's okay. We can we can we can work around this. We can work around this. All right. Let's uh, let's do a bit more of this, shall we? Um, what was the clone here? It included the wall. Okay, great. So we'll donk that to there, and then to there, and then to there. And that's as much as we're going to do this time. That's as far as I'm going to go. Now, what we what we need to think about next is cutting some holes out of this block here into this canteen. So there's two ways that I can do this. I could, huh, I could cut a hole here or I could do this. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. Going to do it this way. I think this is more logical and then we can just knock holes through these walls directly across from them. Right, so here, and here, and here, and then the objects either side of that can then just be quietly dismantled. We can reuse the, the toilets uh, and showers uh, when we get into building, you know, more of the, the cells over here, which is great. Why is this flashing? No canteens. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, because, wait, deployment. Okay, cool. Minsec. Good. Minsec. Excellent. Logistics. Food distribution. Uh, you can go there, and you can go there, and you can go there. There we go. So they now have an accessible canteen. We have 269 cells. That's pretty awesome. What's wrong with this guy? Um, toilet. It's missing a... T I don't know how that managed to miss a toilet. Is there one pending? It doesn't look like it. That's weird. Okay, let's pop that in. I may as well check, where were the ones that had the weird double shower heads? Did I, I do remember seeing those, right? If I go into utilities, will it, will it stick out a little bit simpler? Yes, these two. Why do these two have a shower head that's sort of floating in the middle of nowhere? Quail? I'm just going to get in and remove this for you, mate. And this one here can go as well. Excellent. Beautiful. All right. There is a max set guy in here. We don't really want him there, but that's okay. We can kind of ignore him for now. Hopefully, this will start to take care of itself relatively quickly. Good. Excellent. Cell block A. Or cell block E? I'm not sure. We're 54% of the way there. This is starting to look pretty, pretty snazzy. Um, I'm not doing super hot for, um, for cash at the moment. It has dropped back down again, but how are we doing? Still, we still keep getting about three deaths a day out of the maximum security zone. Uh, with guys just, you know, basically thumping each other and then getting shot by a guard or stabbing a guard with their, uh, with their knife while they're buttering their bread or something to that effect. It is causing us some, uh, some problems. Um, how, ooh, hello. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is not bad. And these... Okay. Alright, let's get some heaters in here. Let's get some radiators. And we'll have one at the end of each of these corridors. Like this. And then, what we'll do is I'm going to try and find the point where the hot water pipe... We did... No, we didn't, did we? We didn't do a Chrissy Crossy on the hot water pipe. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that. We'll do it at about the halfway point. So, like, about here. Yes. All right, we'll do it at about there. And then that way we can pop in. Um, okay, I'm just going to eyeball this. So, it's about there. We're going to pop in. Oh, I can actually see it. Awesome. Um, of course I can uh, so, I'm going to pop in a radiator at about midway point down the cell block as well. Right, so that way we've got, you know, 
a bit of heating stretching either way. And then we've got the boil. The boilers are going to be out here. That's going to provide the heat we need that way. I think that should do the trick. And that should slowly keep this place as, you know, as warm as we need it to be. Is that good? Okay. And this... Oh, man. That's that's a bit of a problem. Um, let's dismantle that quickly, please. And we need to get a wall put in there. Good. Wall, wall. Wall, wall. Uh, we're going to need some patrols up and down this cell block at some point uh, so that we can do roll calls. Oh my god, that's a thing that I haven't had to worry about uh, for quite some time. Let's get a guard patrol then all the way up and down here and here and here. All right, and what we're going to do is during sleep time, which is time one, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five guys burgers and fries patrolling this area um one two three four five and that way they should all be sort of spread out evenly and i can just go a roll call <gasps> oh god why did i do that oh my giddy aunt oh that is terrifying why why have i done this to myself this is insane. This area is just phenomenally large. And it's going to be... Oh, what have I done? Oh, friends. I think I've made a critical error in pushing for $20,000 to get this friggin' cell block E done. Oh, man. Okay. This should be amusing. We'll wait for all these cells to get um, searched. And then we're going to see how much it's going to cost us to remove all these tunnels. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. We got this. So we're going to do like this. Oh my god, look at them all. $6,440 to remove all the tunnels from that zone. And that's that's only half the way there, right? We've got to build the rest of this block out yet. Man, oh man. I think I've bitten off a little bit more than we could chew. Just just a wee bit. Just a, like, mm. it's okay though. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm sure that, oh man. Okay. Um, remove tunnels. There we go. We got it. We got this. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm sure that this will be just workable and we can totally maintain this. Uh, oh god, what? Who am I kidding? Um, okay, let's just let's just hook that up like that. That's fine. All right, a bit more pipe. Who cares about a bit more piping? It'll be fine. There are still two cells there that are um, that are unheated, which is gonna bug me a little bit. I may need to move that radiator, a uh, boiler, a little bit so that we can uh, we can get what we need to get. Um, good. Okay, that's taken care of. I didn't actually look to see which way they were tunneling. But logically, the only way for them to really tunnel at the moment is, right, basically out to here. Because the rest of the prison is ringed in um, perimeter fencing. Absolutely crazy. Um, I would put another layer in, but this pipe is actually going to make it a little bit difficult, right? Because if I put one right up against this, uh, this line here then all of these pipes are going to get cut because that's just the way that it works. I could put one slightly outside, like one notch over around this pipe and then out and around and around like that. That might be a way to go. Just to add another layer of crazy, no thank you, please don't tunnel in this direction. Um, might be a thing to think about. Might be a thing to think about. But in the meantime, oh dear. Oh no, this needs to be, this needs to be Mintic. Okay. Because if I didn't do that, prisoners would need to be escorted through that gate every time. And that would cause problems. Super ma major mega problems. And we don't want that. We don't want that many problems. But, okay, we got this. Sort of. We got this. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock these open for the time being. Um... We can slam them shut in the event that there is a, uh, you know, some kind of major problem. Um, but for the time being, I, I'm pretty happy with them just sort of being taken care of in this way. Um, and should we carry on? I feel like yes. 
I feel like yes. All right, so let's go. This, ooh, dearie me. Um, hey, why? Huh, all right. So let's do, I guess, we'll do like this for this section here. Very good. And then, hmm, we'll go back, back like that. And we'll just sort of work our way backwards down this block. Dare I go this quickly? I figure I may as well. Okay, let's do it. We're going to do it. I need this populated in so that I can get this block done and get to the population that we're aiming for. It's it's going to be difficult. 6 to 9, 40 un insufficient funds. Okay, well, what about if I just have just this much, please? Uh, and the wall. Yes. 4860. We can afford that. Just. Uh, and then we need some plumbing and piping and all that sort of jazz. So we can get ourselves... Nope, we can't. Okay, we're out of money. Um, we have had some early prisoner releases, though. So that should help to take care of things in that regard. And that way we can go a zippity doo -dah down like this. Bam, done. We can get some hot water pipes uh, down like this. Um, and you know what? Let's just go to there. And we'll see if we can get away without having a hot water system every single block. Maybe we can do this. We'll see. I'm not sure. Um, and we'll get some small pipes as well for the toilets. Again, I'm pretty sure that you can get away without having a small, like a cold water pipe. But yeah, look, it's probably best. It's probably best. Here come our dudes rolling back into their cells, ready to dig another day. Um, we'll have to do another roll call momentarily. We can probably, probably do one at about 9.30. Ready? So everyone's in. Bang. <laughs> oh my god. It's just insane. It's just insane. Oh my goodness me. This is this is a silly thing. This is a silly thing that we've done. And this is a problem too. Staff need another pay rise. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? I'll tell you what. There we go. You can get a big pay cut. I'm going to make some some bank for a couple of days. I know that they're going to riot again. And then when I give them a raise, it'll push them up to like only up to where they were before, logically. That, I mean, that seems to make sense, right? I don't think these guys are actually digging in any logical direction. They're just sort of digging. Maybe. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. Maybe we can just, like, build around this cell block. I mean, the, the fact that they dig every day, though, is a real, a real super problem. Maybe I can just ignore the tunnels for a couple of days. And because of the way that this prison's been designed, they're not going to get out, theoretically. I mean, we can only hope and pray, right? Ugh. All these tunnels. There's just so many of them. And there seems to be a biff going on because our dudes can't get in there. This area is, is still slowly being built. Uh, do we have a deliveries bottleneck again? We do. Dang it. All right. All right. That'll be the last time that I build out an entire block. Um, I promise. I promise. Because that, that really hasn't served me well, has it? All right. Let's do that. Blonk. Okay, great. And we've got a bunch of clothing and stuff that needs to be delivered. This door is not getting opened. For some reason, one of these door control systems is kind of not manned. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the problem. Right. Remove tunnels. Remove tunnels. Populate the rest of the cell block. Populate the rest of the cell block. We're getting there. We are getting there. How's this power station doing? Ooh, that's starting to get high. Yeah, that's starting to get dangerously high. We might need to do the rest of these cells. So instead of putting them on that same circuit, um, you know, in fact, I reckon I'm going to do it now. I reckon I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to cancel this one out. And then this guy is going to come down from here and connect to there. Good. 
All right, and then we'll use this power station here to do the rest of the power for this block. I reckon that'll help us. I reckon that should that should make this worthwhile. Well, there we go. All right, so that's taken care of. Um, we, we're slowly, slowly filling this place up. And down here, I mean, this should be a freaking ghost town now. I mean, basically, it's just Platter sitting here on his own, feeling very sad for himself. It's pretty amazing. Like, we're up to 298 cells available. And that's... We only have... Wait a minute. 298 cells. How many minsecs do we have? 304. Why is it 304 when it was pretty much holding solid at 150? Or is it just because the all available keeps ratcheting up each time? Oh dear. I wonder. I wonder. Is this ratcheting up each time because that's the natural progression? Or is it because I'm bringing on more and more cells? Hmm. Might be something to keep an eye on. Definitely might be something to keep an eye on. All right. But we can do that next time. Friends, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you then.